Cordana del Morto, 5.30 a.m., White Sands Missile Range. The first thermonuclear bomb was detonated, marking a major milestone in the history of man. The plutonium-based device was placed upon a steel structure above the desert. When the bomb was detonated, a bright, blinding light raced across the desert along with a wave of heat scorching the earth. As the fireball engulfed the area, vaporizing the sand and fusing it with byproducts of the reaction, the structure and the shell of bomb, mixing it. As the fireball began to dissipate, the vaporized sand began to fall back to the desert floor. Once cooled, the glass material was made, named Trinitite, after the code name given to the project. Originally, Trinitite was called Atomsite, but the name was changed to Trinitite. There are three main colors of Trinitite, the most common, green. The color is caused by the content of iron. Red Trinitite is rarer than green, and it is caused by the copper wire found in Gadget, the code name of the bomb. Finally, black, the most rare out of the three. The black color is attributed to the iron of the structure that Gadget was placed upon. Today, it is a federal crime to remove Trinitite from the test site. But during some time after the test, you were able to remove some Trinitite from the site. It was a common souvenir when visiting. Someone liked the idea of wearing nuclear bomb sand as jewelry or some earrings and a necklace were made. With most things rare, bought and sold, fakes were eventually made. Fake Trinitite is made from green silica sand. It also has the appearance of being radioactive. The difference between each is the real trinitite is made by a nuclear weapon and has radioactive byproducts of the detonation. Let's take a radiation measurement from the trinitite fragments using my Geiger counter. There we have it. It is radioactive, but not by much compared to my background where I live. This Trinitite sample that I have is a two dram sample vial of fragments. I bought this off of United Nuclear. The nice thing about buying it from United Nuclear is you know that it's authentic and isn't a fake unlike some other places that you might purchase some Trinitite samples. Thanks for watching, see you next time, and stay tuned for a new video every week. While you're waiting, check out some of my older videos, and check out my Instagram where I post random photos of random civil defense stuff.